Hey guys, it's Malin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you're notified when my next video comes out. Okay, so on today's mukbang menu, I have Korean fried chicken. And you may notice that I have like this big space that's missing right here and thinking, why the hell is there a big space there? Um, I am currently making this Korean cheese Korean corn cheese like recipe that I wanted to pair up uh, with the chicken. I got that recipe from Stephanie Sue. She's a very popular mukbanger and I love her because she's so crazy and she eats so much freaking food. And this Korean fried recipe, um, yes, I made this on my own. I obviously use Mang Chi's Korean fried chicken recipe. And if you don't know, I love her. Um, go check out your, her YouTube because she has so much Korean food recipes. Yes, yeah, so currently my Korean corn cheese recipe dish is currently in the oven. I wanted to have it fresh for you guys because I added a lot of cheese on there. I originally, it's supposed to have mozzarella cheese in it, but I, oh my god, I'm such an idiot. And I pulled out my cheese, mozzarella cheese from the fridge and it was freaking rotten. Ugh. I don't know why I left it there for so long, thinking that it'd be okay still, but nonetheless, I'm still making the recipe and I'm using, um, I think, cheddar cheese instead. And I think that my corn is just about ready, so give me two seconds to get that out for you guys. All right, so I'm back with my cream corn cheese. And look how cheesy that looks. Um, Obviously, it would be so much better with um, mozzarella cheese, but it's okay. Um, within this, it's just like corn, uh, red peppers. I was supposed to add green peppers, but I didn't have that. And um, I, she suggested, uh, she, she, uh, Stephanie Sue suggested um, regular mayo, I believe, but I use QP, like Japanese mayo, because I don't know. Ever since I started eating Japanese mayo, I like never bought regular mayo ever again. So I'm using that and it's probably so good. I added some sugar, salt, and pepper, butter, and then put some cheese and add some cheese on top and then broil that. And then this recipe, it is a little bit time consuming. It's not super hard, it is time consuming because you're double frying the chicken. Anyways, let's get started because this is still hot. And before I do that, got my Coke. good old coke and I'm not expecting this to be like a long cheese pull so because I didn't add like so much cheese but oh my god Ooh. Yes. that looks really good oh there's a little cheese pull that's what that looks like up close Still steaming. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Creamy, cheesy. more bites in here. 
Ooh, all this cheese. All right, let's try the chicken. <sighs> Ooh, this is like the sticky sweet recipe. not too sweet which is what I like um, I was actually really afraid that it was gonna be super sweet because it calls for corn syrup and brown sugar <laughs> but not overly sweet which I which I really like I wish I had all flats because, like I mentioned before, I love the flats. Seriously, the perfect amount of sweetness. It's sweet and salty. Mm. I would totally make this again.
It's like sticking to my teeth. Ooh, that one's really sticky. <laughs> Okay, I'll get a couple more wings in here because this is a reaction video. Um, I know I've only mentioned this once in my videos, but I am a really, 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 really big Game of Thrones fan. <laughs> And if you're watching this and you haven't watched the trailer or if you're just trying to catch up and not up to date, then this is a spoiler alert. I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. Um, maybe not from since the beginning, but probably since season like three. Um, I am up to date with um the episodes so i've been waiting for this damn trailer for like two years Oh man, I'm starting to get full. I'll get two more wings in here and then I will start my, the trailer. I read that like in some of the, um, one of the biggest fighting scenes in the season. Um, Took 11 weeks to film. Like, that's crazy.
Like 11 freaking weeks, day in, day out. That's exhausting. <laughs> but I mean, each season the production gets so much better and better and I'm just so sad that it's ending because it just gets better and better. I wonder if there's gonna be like a spin-off show for it. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started with the video. Because I have my laptop here right beside me and ready to go. Okay, so I have the video ready to go. Um, I'm just going to let it run and then tell you my reaction after. I know death. got many faces. I look forward to seeing this one. Ooh, I, uh... Everything you did brought you where you are now. Where you belong. Doesn't tire. Doesn't stop. Doesn't feel. Oh my god. Oh my god, Cersei. I promise to fight for the living. I intend to keep that promise. That was, oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, hold up, let me finish that. <laughs> okay, so what the? Fuck. Okay, well, uh. of course, Aya in the beginning is still um, going through like those, uh, the nameless faces phase in her life. I think Aya is such a trooper. She's come a long way. And then I love how in the trailer it shows John and Daenerys, um, you know, riding side by side, but. I think where last season ended off it they just they don't know but they we just found out that they were like related and she's his aunt so I'm very interested to see how they're gonna really like put this story together and will they find out <laughs> like what's gonna happen after that after they find it out or yeah and i mentioned before Jon snow is obviously my favorite character like he's been my favorite character since the beginning not like yeah literally some since from the beginning because he was like the bastard son he was like the underdog and whatnot and then he came out on top um and then sansa sansa is also one of my other favorite characters because she's just so tough and like she's been through so much shit. and at the end there jorah with an army this is like mine twisting for me because did i just see jorah and like his army versus the white walkers like i thought i saw like the horse the horse's feet the sound that the horses made 
at the end sounded like the uh, White Walker's horse. So I'm assuming that's them. So I don't know how that's gonna go down. And, I'm, and I know that battle scene that they, rec that they recorded for 11 weeks is probably gonna be that scene where everyone, or the White Walkers versus like, you know, the living. So I'm freaking excited for that because are all the houses gonna come together and like fight? So I don't know, but that trailer was pretty good. I can't believe, um, oh, uh, I just can't believe Daenerys and Jon Snow are freaking related. Like why? I just want police to be happy, you know, with a guy. I'm gonna watch that again later and like really look at it, but. And then in that trailer, in that trailer, it seems like Jamie is like, you know, stepping it up and like, wants to go to battle or whatever. So I'm excited to see what he'll do. And Cersei, obviously. She didn't like, I don't like Cersei, but I love Lena, frick, what's her name? Lena Headley or something like that. I like her playing Cersei because she's such a good villain to play. But I obviously don't like Cersei the character herself. And in the trailer, she's just like standing there as per usual, doing shit all. I think the one time I actually felt sorry for Cersei was her atonement scene. Atonement? I hope I'm saying that right. Where she walked down the village and they were seeing shame and like throwing food at her and whatnot. I think that was the only time I felt sorry for her, but... She deserved that. <laughs> oh man. April 15 needs to come sooner because I need to watch this. But I am currently like re-watching it right now. Um, I kind of like force my boyfriend to get into it because, you know, everyone around him is like talking about Game of Thrones and he hasn't watched it. So he's currently watching it right now and I'm just like refreshing my memory and you'd be surprised to see how much you actually miss when re-watching things. Um, it certainly helped my, my memory a lot. <laughs> Cause there's just so much stories going on in Game of Thrones, right? Like, like in the beginning, there's like, oh yeah, two stories, but now, see, end of season seven, there's like twenty different stories going on, which I feel like there were like less stories in the beginning, and then it spread out. Like there was like twenty different stories, and now that it's ending, I feel like everyone's coming back together again. So, funny how that works. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of wings.
last wing. I don't even know how much wings I ate. There's more than a dozen, for sure. I can't get through this fat for some reason. I will continue on with the Korean cheese corn. Um, the cheese obviously like hardened, so no cheese pull anymore. <laughs> Last bite. Oh my god, that was a lot of freaking food. I don't even know how many wings that was. Look at my pile of bones and people are probably gonna judge me because Oh, you didn't eat all of it, blah blah blah. Well, you know what? I ate it and suck it up. Just kidding. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should try next. 
or what recipes you guys think I should try next. And if you like this video, please get a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to the Game of Thrones Season 8 trailer. Let me know if you're a fan or not. If you're not, then why are you even watching this right now? Just kidding. <laughs> Jon Snow, please live. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Till next time.